Tyler in the land of enchantment. Jack. Okay. I think we could. I think we might be safe. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. I think um, we might be safe. I could talk about Maybe how this is a genocide, but with C-SPAN being a journalistic institution, I want to talk about the complete assault on journalism in Palestine uh, over the past four months. So while younger people like me oh, are watching this out. play out on our phones, wait. Um, the people wait. sharing the images from inside uh, Gaza are either being killed off or forced to evacuate. Uh, I've relied on following people directly on the ground, such as Bisan Aldo, who's a filmmaker who's my age, is 24, or Lama Jamu, who's a nine-year-old journalist who's interviewing other ch uh, other children and reporting on life under occupation. Um, over 110 journalists have been killed by the Israeli military since October, um, which is a huge violation of international law, not to mention the 30,000 plus killed overall and millions more displaced. Um, so Tyler, I just how, do, understand how do you that. find these folks? Is this all via, via X or Twitter as it was known? So I follow a lot of journalists on Instagram. Um, if you look up B-I-S-A-N, Bisan, she's sharing a lot uh, daily about what's going on. Like I mentioned, Lama Jamu, who's a nine-year-old journalist who's interviewing other children about what's going on. Um, there's also a lot of other ones that you can find. A very famous journalist, Motaz, um, just was forced to evacuate, uh, as well as the head of Israel's like targeting in Gaza, um, Wael al Dadum, who <laughs> has had his entire family killed, uh, including airstrikes on his home, and his son, who was killed while wearing a press uniform. Um, so just just to kind of go over, this is all just attacks on journalism that has happened over the past couple of months. As I said, 110 I, journalists have been killed. Tyler, how would you, so after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, there was a lot of uh, focus on uh, videos and, and journalists uh, at the front trying to follow what was happening. Uh, as Russia was moving across Ukraine. I guess the question is, how would you compare uh, efforts to, to find those journalists and, and the ability of those of, journalists to get their images and words out to what we've seen since October in the Gaza Strip? Um, I mean, I guess I'm more focused on what's happening right now because, as I said, there's a genocide happening right now. So um, I'm really just focused on the hundreds of journalists being killed and the tens of thousands of Palestinians being killed. And right now, there was an invasion of Rafah during the Super Bowl so that people weren't paying attention to it. And hundreds more are being killed every single day. You keep wanting to bring up October 7th, but there's been an October 7th happened in Gaza every week since October 7th. 30,000 plus people killed, millions displaced. This is a genocide. Please remember that. War is a racket in which blood and bone and human life are exchanged for resources and profits for the hyper-wealthy. Stop the genocide and war. Focus on improving life for everyone, please. Thank you for taking my call, and have a nice day. It's Tyler in New Mexico to Nashville, Tennessee. This is Clarence. Good morning. Hey, Cable Variety, great job. Uh, fantastic holding it together. Um, <laughs> uh, like... I don't know, you know, and like, and this is where it's like a really good job of like <laughs> spelling it out, <laughs> spelling out names, letting people know where to go find, you know, good information. Um, and like, though, that, that question that John asked you though, about like, what's the difference, you know? And like, I mean, like, I, like, I think that was like kind of like a curveball, but I think there's like a, there, there is a monumental difference. Like the fact of all of those journalist deaths, the shutting off of the internet and the communications, you know, system that like, there is a huge difference, right? There is a huge fucking difference. Um, and that's, 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 that is a part of the genocide, right? Um. Yeah, making well. stupid statements that he makes so often i'm not concerned about him but i mean like he you know what I'm saying? like there's no way you know what i'm saying like yeah you know like i'm not saying like oh you, you know like there's that, that it was like cause he, when he asked that i was like what the fuck is this shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> like what the fuck small possible <laughs> but like to, if i uh, think like uh, what's the difference the in these journalism their, like uh way murder and, shutting off you say you're internet not concerned about donald trump do you think those republican senators that are sent to washington are too concerned well because this is the thing too it's like both uh, and like both sides right like if you want the russian perspective there are russian journalists that have access and they go in and all it about and write shit 
right? And you've got middle of the road fucking people who are able to fucking interview both sides and then completely Ukrainian Terrell star type shit, right? Like you've got that full breadth, but uh, like then you overlap that with what's happening in Gaza and murdering, like targeting. Cause there's no, like they air, like uh, the fucking, um, oh, God damn it. You named the guy that, like lost his whole fucking family. That he, they, they, like, they drone striked his fucking car. They were targeting him. They were tracking and targeting journalists, period. 